Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat Alfred and get the achievement or trophy, Hermetically Sealed. Alfred is a pretty challenging boss fight, which is nice. Um, he has a few abilities, all having to do with potions that he's able to concoct and throw at you, or re really throw on the ground. And he also has the ability to throw a crystal at you that can curse you. So either avoid it or get something that uh, will nullify curses or give you high curse resist. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a really difficult time. So his major abilities are around potions, like I said. He can concoct a potion and throw it on the ground that creates fire, ice, or poison. So the ice and fire are easily the most deadly. Just standing in the areas that he throws the poisons on uh, will deal a ton of damage, like 100 points per tick. It is very, very deadly. He can also empower himself and then zoom around the room. He will always go towards the door, I'd say like 90% of the time. Then he'll just hop up, so you gotta follow him. If you get poisoned, go ahead and use a Mithridate on yourself to nullify it or to get rid of it. Uh, very important that you do that. Uh, just avoid the fire, the ice. Try not to get poisoned too much. Avoid the, uh, the dark crystal that can curse you. Um, eventually, as you whittle down his health, he will start casting ice crystals. Um, he doesn't, at least that I have seen, have like an additional fire or poison ability. It seems like the ice crystals are the only like double element that he has. But he can also cast spheres around the room that will remain there for the remainder of the fight. And as you are in the area of these spheres, you will get slowed. So it is very important that you pay very close attention to the direction in which he is moving. Uh, having a familiar out, either the Sword Familiar or the Silver Knight, some sort of familiar that can deal damage, will definitely help you in this fight because that familiar is not slowed. It can still travel around the room and it works in these 3D environments. The sword or whatever can still fly around the room and deal damage to him. And you'll notice at the end of this video that my Sword Familiar is actually what kills him. So it's really important that you use familiars in this game. They're so, so useful. They don't deal a ton of damage, but they get, you know, it's free damage. So it's, it's always important that you use them. So here we have the spheres. They're out, as you can see, even though I'm double jumping over them really high, I'm still within the vicinity and I'm getting slowed. Um, yeah, it's it's really annoying at this point of the fight because you, like, you know his health pool is so, so low, but there's not much you can do about it. You just gotta continue to chase him, but be very careful as he throws stuff on the ground because chances are, He'll throw it right in those spheres and make it so you land on fire or you land on ice or you land on poison. Like, he, he knows what he's doing. He's, he's very, very tricky. Uh, so it's just important that you pay attention to what he's doing, even though you're trying to, like, figure out where to land. Um, but, yeah, so we're wrapping up the fight here. He's about to die because my sword familiar is about to take care of business. Um, but, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new videos go live. And if you like this content a whole lot, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Alright, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.